good. I'm good. Justin's welcome back to the Fiends, Fiends, Fiends podcast. Jesus Christ. Can I hit your vape? Right before. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well get a Zen in before he's in. Do we have enough substances, guys? All right, Justin, you're in on yeah. three, two, one. Welcome back to the Works Every Time podcast. I'm your host, <laughs> Justin Essemacher. Alongside me is our boy, Philip Garcia. Then the bearded guy, Marcus Olin. And our guest, Greg DePaul. Hell yeah. <laughs> like and subscribe, leave a comment, tell us about how your life's doing. We'll solve that for you. But welcome back. Is that, Philip. Is that what we're trying to do? We're trying to become a vo- phone in and we'll f- solve your problems for you? Podcast? Yes. Yep. That's kind of cool. I like that. We could do that. Yeah, yeah. I could totally solve your problem. What's tell me the, a problem right now, Philip. I'll solve it. I was going to say we should start with Greg. Yeah, I'm yeah, right Greg, here. Tell me a problem and I'll solve it. I'll give you an example. Greg looks riddled with problems. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? That's why we have him on. <laughs> hey, Greg, up, no matter what your problem is, I have the solution. You should get a dog. A dog? Yeah. That's, a dog. Sauce, that's adds more problems, <laughs> you idiot. You go into Greg's room. Greg's got the window cracked right now for his little baby plants. Oh, you got he plants. does. I do, yeah. They're getting fresh, fresh air. They're getting some little, they're getting a little Has Greg air. ever showed you his plants, Marcus? No, but that does sound weird. He, br- he shows them off. He brings them all like little kids. He goes, go this is my one plant. Yeah, go get dude, them, I do have a baby. I do have a baby plant. I mean, if you want to show me your plants, dude, I mean, I guess, yeah. Go get your plants. Go get, yeah, plants. get the plants, dude. He's excited. <laughs> get the plants. Right. And we're, this is just how we're starting it, huh? And they're, they're... <laughs> you got to see the plants. He's a plant okay. daddy. He's very excited about this plants. Wasn't on the agenda. But Philip also up. just became another dad. Yeah, I'm basically a plant dad now, too. I have a dog. Yeah. That's yeah. a. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Look at him. Man. Soup. Play the music with it. Can you play the music or no? Man, no. Oh, yeah. and that's your, who's that? <laughs> that was a suggestion. Oh, the plants are gonna. Oh, the plants are. So I've been new. putting, I've been putting, I put black and white filter on them, and then I put Godzilla sound song. I put soundtracks over. This, this was also just came up on my feed as like suggested, suggested feed? post with uh, Gary Busey drinking a shake with Taylor Swift shaking off. It's like who's running his account and doing such so a good job? What is this? So this is a jade plant. <laughs> oh, oh shit, there's a plant. Your mic's off. Sorry. Milk? No, it doesn't have milk, but I grew it when I first got this plant. Uh, it had. <laughs> it looks kind of fake. What's its name? I don't name my plants. You don't name Bullshit, your plants? Bullshit, dude. We Come on, that tree needs a name. These plants, dude. That's an awesome plant. Honestly, dude, this it's plant growing is so sick. good. It's growing really well. How is dude, it so good? So I I know. <laughs> when I started with this plant, it was like the size of like just like four of the leaves. Sure. Like, like most plants before they grow. Yeah, <laughs> then, it, then, it, then, it, then it's grown into this. I've had it for like two years. Oh, it should have just kept growing like a plant. Just kept growing like a plant, dude. Wow. And then, I just wish. And then. You, how long have you had that? I've had this about two years now. Wow, that's, that's your baby. Two years. Yeah. What else you got to show us that's weird? Yeah, dude. All right. Uh, then one of the leaves Can fell you do off. this like Steve Irwin's son, though, with an accent? Yeah, do it in a stretch. One of the leaves fell off. He's not <laughs> Irish. <laughs> yeah, what was that? One of the leaves fell off the plant and made life anew. <laughs> <laughs> that's Wait, better. So this is a new plant. So this so, is Lord of the Rings. Yeah, so this one's a baby plant, and it's one of the leaves that fell off that bigger plant. Oh, like a spinoff plant. You need yeah. to name them. Can you name them for the podcast, at least, for no, entertainment sake? I don't want to name them. I don't want to name them. Why? They're it's growing like, great. Okay, well, that one's name is Earl. All right. And that one's <laughs> name is L- L- Earl Jr. Duh. No, Lil Earl. Little Earl's Earl, better. Little, little Earl. The other one be Pearl. <laughs> Earl Pearl and Earl Jr. No, Little Pearl. Little Pearl, yeah. Pearl, and Pearl. Earl? <laughs> Earl. Earl Pearl and Earl, Lil Earl. All right, yeah, so that's, that's why like, I did it. I knew it was going to make Justin's brain implode. Yeah, oh, like, oh, yeah. Like a yeah, submarine you did good. full of rich people. Oh, here we go. Yeah, now we got gas in the engine. Yeah, submarine gas. I bet you couldn't afford it, though. That's why you're still uh, alive, no, I, Marcus. No, I couldn't afford it. Oh, that's billion. And then this was the. Hey, this, everybody! Greg's plants. This <laughs> was the first. This was the. This was the first. This was the first plant I ever got. <laughs> wow. Really? That's yeah. really. That it reminds name? me of Jurassic Park for some Little reason. Bit, right? Yeah, it's pretty sick. Greg, right? name the fucking plant. <laughs> yeah. Greg, what is that plant's name? These are my first plants, and I really Fernando. want to find a nice girl like who will go and be nice to me. Oh my God! You almost spill it. You almost killed Fernando. Hey, question. Do you hey. talk to your plants? Yeah, sometimes. Nice. What do you say to your plants, Craig? <laughs> what do I say? I'm like, yeah. uh, so I talk to them on my sad days. You say, uh, it starts with, uh, uh. <laughs> but not on your happy days? 
No, you, not really. You have the best day in a week or two, and you don't go up to your plants and be like, dude, today <laughs> was awesome. Yeah, sometimes I do yeah. do that, actually. I'll be yeah, like, today was cool. awesome, and I'm also <laughs> grateful for you guys. Well, if nice. that's not the case, they're thriving off of sadness. Yeah. <laughs> it looks yeah, really when good. I'm sa- when I'm sad, I, like, talk to them. I'm like, you know, I feel like I'm making no progress in my life. But I remember progress is slow because I see you guys still going. Oh, that's beautiful, that's Greg. Beautiful. That's actually that's really deep. good. That's deep. You can say uh, as much mean shit as you want. The rest that was the nicest thing anyone said on the phone. So. <laughs> that was like when Kennedy said, "It's not like what you do for your, uh, what a country does for you, but it's it was like your country, what you do for, what you your, do plants, for your country, what your plants, plants do, do for, for you. you." Yeah, something like that. And yeah, they make like you that. happy. And then yeah. they went, "Bam!" And they got his ass. Yeah, yeah dude. Not... You don't talk about plants like that. We're gonna fucking come for your ass. Hey, don't ever bring these plants to Dallas. <laughs> no, they're never going yeah. to Dallas. There's they're this actually, one white. Actually, I'm a little nervous. They left my windowsill today for the pod. They don't get out much. I know. It's fine. We'll be <laughs> fine. Hey, you got one. Uh, he's got two. Yeah, you, you, you have gotten a couple. You're up on us right now. <laughs> Three. Well, Three. That, actually, that was it's cool. It's cool bringing them to the studio because I like how they look in the lighting. Yeah, dude, don't they look pimp, good dude. in the light? They, they, they need to be shown like, off, dude. Put dude, them on I, a... They need actually, to be put like, somewhere. Like, it's almost mean, like plants yeah, need light. Let me hold like, this, Dude, this one is so healthy. <laughs> look at them. Let me get you up. Hold it like a baby. That is a thick ass plant, dude. dude yeah, the right? tree is just happy. That tree's just You're I've such never a seen happy tree. We have two of those it's at wait, my Can you show them the picture of when I first got the plant? I was waiting to see if it shows up. Dude, I'll time. be honest, that plant looks like it's wearing makeup, dude. It's yeah. really nice. It looks like an Instagram. Hey, plant. we have like three of those no, at dude, our I'm house. Like, I like obsessively take care of these plants. Yeah, yeah. I can tell. So yeah, how often like... do you water this plant specifically? Uh so they're j- so the reason I got these plants the <laughs> <laughs> these, pla- these plants are called jade plants, and uh, the thing that's cool about jade plants is... <laughs> Our producer said it was this fucking home and garden right now. <laughs> yeah, basically. Jada, we got Jada Greg Pinkett in here, so Smith we're going to talk about his fucking plants. Yeah, I bet. I bet we're all holding it. If you if you can feel the energy from them, they're happy. Yeah, no, they are, dude. Because <laughs> they've eaten Greg's sadness for a year, two years. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're like, like, oh, Jada God, Pinkett's. I love They no do. One. Honestly, if you look at them, they kind of do look like big tears. <laughs> wow. They took all of Greg's tears. Greg don't... All? Aw. Yeah. Aww. This plant's sad as fuck, dude. Give him a little kiss. Give him a little kiss, unless he's poisonous. Who knows? No, you can give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. You didn't kiss Aww, it. Oh, Greg's even that was a fake kiss. His now lick it. No, I'm not gonna lick it. That might be bad for him. Greg, you give, give him a kiss. You, you can give him a nice little kiss, but with no, not too much lip, not too much Shove slop. Shove a leaf down your throat. Marcus, yeah, I don't know why that stressed me out. Can I hit your babe? Yeah, don't. I was really worried about his. I was really worried don't about. Don't talk his about plant. my plants' leaves like that, man. I think they look bodacious and voluptuous. Yeah, I would sexy, fuck that dude. plant. Dude, I want to call. One. I want to call one. Greg yeah, up. I want to call Greg up to come save my plants at our house. Yeah, I was like, you should get some plants. What yeah. does voluptuous so mean? This, is, this guy's a little <laughs> sexy. I this, think voluptuous. This guy's a little means baby. Well thick and sexy. My dad yelled at me one time because I said it and I don't think I used it right. And he was like, "Don't say voluptuous." We were like in public. I was like, "Man, that thing—that's like voluptuous or whatever." He was like, "Don't say that right now." Why like to make him run. hard? I don't yeah, curvaceous. <laughs> Curvaceous. What is it? Sexually attractive. No, that's, he yeah. feels like yeah, I used it yeah. wrong. <laughs> yeah. What were you thinking? Dude? I was a bad kid, dude. I was like, I would find something. Like, I remember one time, I think I watched Risky Business from the hallway, and there's a scene where Tom Cruise opens yeah. the door and he's like, "Get on in here, you big old bastard!" And then like my parents were hosting a house party, and they uh, I opened the door, and like my dad's boss was like devout Pentecostal. Uh-huh. And I opened the door and I said, get on in here, you big old bastard. And he was like a big old bastard. Ah! And uh, he was like, absolutely not having that. Yeah. yeah. I think he took a pay cut that year. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know how we got there. Sorry. That's what well, you didn't know. The get word. back on in the conversation, you, you big old bastard. You didn't know voluptuous. That's why. Yeah. But yeah. I started thinking about other like other things that I just picked up. Because I think I heard it in like dodgeball or something. Yes. Yeah, so my plant's very voluptuous, very sexy, very green. Uh, <laughs> damn. Nice. Greg's you got fucking the these plants. Plan over here because there's no mom, right? There's no mom, but I don't think it needs a mom. <laughs> You're the mom. Greg's the mom. I kind of am the mom. I'm very mothering. <laughs> You're motherly to the plants. I mean, look at them. What else do They're you? They're growing what else, so uh, strong. <laughs> Greg, what else do you do with your free time as of late, besides get fucked up? Yeah, yeah I've been d- doing that. Um, six. Dude, these six. plants are gonna be in it for a rough one when Greg gets back on the wagon all the way. That's a good <laughs> shot. No, actually, sometimes when I get high, I, like, look at them and care about them more. Yeah, but when you get, like, six purple white claws deep, man, you're going to be like, fuck Fuck these plants. Dude, I could smoke a plant, dude. dude. (laughs) My favorite thing is seeing Greg when he's, like, sitting on the side bench at sunset, and he's had, like, eight purple white claws, and he looks like a doorstop. Yeah. Just like... (laughs) Just perfectly, like right angle triangle, just Pythagorean theory about these fucking, <laughs> buddy. I'm a squared plus b 
squared. Yeah. Equals yeah. C squared right now. That's how you know someone slump dude. as fuck. Hey, they got hey. the sideways triangle going. Like, Dog, he's <laughs> so high, dude. He's the hypotenuse, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're too good at this thing specifically. Applying we Actually, everything. the other day I got too high. I had to leave Sunset. Yeah, I remember that. Whoa. Yo, yeah, I told you I was leaving. What did you say Pythagorean's dab or whatever, man? <laughs> we lost it. Pythagorean. I like that one, Marcus. Try it again. I'm sorry you don't know geometry. Hey, yeah, rule number four, please. Be funny. Yeah. Also, if you need a thing of the rules, check on the comments below. The rules are there. The comment. The commitments. The comments. And Justin just wrapped up the intro, finally. You, want, you didn't tell him about Spotify <laughs> Yeah. Oh, check it us sucked. out on Spotify and YouTube. Nice. It sucked leaving, though, because as I was leaving, a bunch of people were coming in, and everyone wanted to say hello to me, and that fucking sucked. Oh, you were too fucked up. Oh, yeah. And How did you, you like, get too high? Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, I was hi, like, hi. hi, 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 hello, gotta go, bye. Yeah. And they're like, why are you leaving? Good evening, news is just starting. I'm like, and I have to leave. And then you came home, and you were on your window, so you're like, and then I was I was trying to leave, and, <laughs> and these guys were trying to say hello to me. Yeah, just talking to the plan. I'm like, <laughs> were, guys, I thought I was ready to smoke more weed in public again, and I was really having a good time and the last two times i did it it was going pretty well but this time clearly too much <laughs> all my friends started into demons <laughs> all, of them? all of them turned into demons and wanted to say hello and give me a hug it was terrible <laughs> and then they grew another leaf and then they grew another leaf it said thank you for your sadness again greg i will continue to grow be, car uh, be careful putting him down like that he shook a little bit i didn't like how honestly that movement, and but when you guys got too negative when you guys started making a negative comment about the plants i saw greg almost could be like guys hey don't get too negative uh, around him calling him voluptuous wasn't too negative right no, no. they're pretty horny right now no, you, nice. you could tell horny. look at their they're, sprung, they're kind of dude. perking up a little bit they are. They're they're liking it. Dude, I did. That I, one keeps looking at me. I crammed a blue chew down the soil earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it does got a thick base, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the next time you set them down, they're not going to wobble at all. No, actually. And use the code wet boys for 50% off your first This is the movie. most attention they've gotten for. They're really happy right now. You can see it. You can. Yeah. I, I've seen they're brighting up. I'll be honest. This one looks nervous, though. This one looks a little nervous. That one's always a little nervous. Yeah. He's the first plant. He gets insecure because I've added the two other plants. They're learning to get along, yeah. but, you know, it's... I get it. It's cold in here. How do they handle each other in close quarters? Do they, do they get in fights? <laughs> Well, are they territorial plants? <laughs> actually, plants are very territorial. So uh, That's why you got them in their own buckets, huh? Are they yeah. home broken? <laughs> Keep them apart. Are they home broken? Do they, they pee outside? And... Yeah, yeah, no, they're very well behaved. What happens if one of them shits inside? Well, they're plants. They don't do that. Yeah, they don't. You're hey, right. buddy, way to go with the <laughs> fucking bit. Jesus hey, Christ. Hey, thanks, Marcus, for being so uh, on point with the statistics of... In yeah, it's, 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 it's not like we're we're just talking yeah, here for yeah, fun Marcus, and we didn't need well, that. Technically, to go well, anywhere. Uh, technically, <laughs> that plant yeah. deserves this much soil and this much water. I'm Marcus Allen. Boom, roasted. Boom, roasted. Yeah, dude, plants don't shit. Real educated stuff. Hey, Marcus, how right, much? So real real hey. super reedy right there. <laughs> yeah. Plants don't shit, smart, guys. Smart, smart guy. Yeah. Plants don't poop. Oh, there goes the end of that riff. Oh, hey, oh, 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 oh. Hey, Marcus, how much manure you got to put in that beard every day to keep it that long? Oh. I bet a lot. Well, I, just when you think someone can't make it worse. <laughs> I was saying you got to fertilize that beard <laughs> with men's shit. Why does that have to be men's shit? Hell yeah, one more because Justin tag. Because you Yeah, there it is. <laughs> fucking one more Justin tag, dude. Oh. It works every time, works, dude. It works, works every time. You thought I wasn't going to add that in there? Oh, and I knew you were. You know what also Marcus adds waiting. in that beard? A lot of cum. Man cum. Boom, roasted. roasted. Yeah. Ew, right. Marcus. Man come? That's disgusting. Why would you say that? I was just talking Maybe about... Maybe I should bring the baby back to the room. Yeah. Think... <laughs> well, it's nice. It needs to be here for this. Justin just got a house, though, so he's going to need to know a little bit about plants and, you know, where to take them yeah. if they poop, right, Marcus? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Marcus, so, thanks. So, Justin, at your new house, when they start shitting everywhere, you're going to have this happen. Every new homeowner. You know right? what's shitting right now? Your mouth. Your mouth is shitting right now on that microphone. We're yeah, breaking I'm the news. shitting on a mic. No, he's not mm. shitting. He's spitting, Justin. Yeah, yeah he's dog. spitting. I'm spitting shit. Spitting. <laughs> You're spitting shit. Just... I'm spitting shit, dude. It's well, no wonder why. Like, yeah. like Phil's asshole after Panda Express and Taco Bell, dude. <laughs> Just spitting and spitting. Dude, yesterday I had Dan's hamburgers, and then for dinner we had Taco Bell. Not a healthy day. Your bathroom looked like Dune too. <laughs> 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 All right, do the, do the house.
Oh, uh, yeah, so I got a house. <laughs> you did get a house. Hey, guys, I just got a house. Is there an applause button? I'm renting it, though, obviously, because you can't afford it. You could, there's no I, way. I can guess. Sure, sure, that's the one. Yeah, that's like that's like the, the clickbait thumbnail is, we just got a house, and then the first 30 seconds, we're renting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I it's was going like, to say, so obviously, obviously we're, obviously we're renting. We live in Austin, Texas. Does it make you um, feel better to know that it, for the price the you're paying to rent the house in Austin, you could own a small manor in another state? Yes, I honestly or love that. a village in, in another country. In, 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 this, in, this, uh, in this state, you could actually own like a, yeah. man, a sizable house. In a town house. called Manor or Manor. Yeah. Or you, for that price, you could pay off a small house <laughs> really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, as a financial advisor, of I mean, as I mean, these are all great things we've thought about. I mm. really do like. I thought about getting a mansion somewhere <laughs> other in another state, but I said, I said, I said, do you know what I would rather have? I'd rather live in the great near your friends. city. Yes, near my friends near in friends. Austin, Texas. <laughs> and I said, and I said. You know what? You're Can moving. I get one that's been lived in since 1976? And oh, it's hasn't a new, been, it's a new build? Yeah, it's a it's a pretty new build. Uh, they do have we have a pink room with a butterfly on it. I don't know what it is with oh, the Mexicans. Oh, why so. can anybody tell me that tell me this? Mexicans, <laughs> why do you like uh, pink whoa, and butterflies whoa. in your room so much? That's just children. That's not a Mexican. It's not like the, it's not like it's the rest style. of the people. It are was just... it's a glittery butterfly painting yeah. for a child. No, it's not a Mexican. Why would a why just Mexicans and butterflies? There's a a, a female a, f a five year old We're little in girl. South Texas, I guess. You know what I heard? Moving I, on. You know I, I heard. Said, you know I heard. I heard that that little girl We're died in, in that house. Texas. I heard that that little girl died in that house, and that if you if you at night when you walk around you can hear. Don't her. do that, dude. Because I don't. I these heard, houses I've looked I heard at a lot of them. It used to be called Butterfly Pass before they changed it to Eagle Pass. Right. They all came over. You know? Jesus fucking Christ, y'all are. <laughs> well, I didn't... every every episode, y'all find a way <laughs> to get the border involved. Until I guess until it's closed, we can talk. About I didn't it. even understand. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, what the fuck? I don't even I mean, know if what the Marcus... politicians talked about it like we did. Do you see what Biden did? He was like Trump. Like we we got it. You got to agree with me on this, man. Like I, look, I'll agree with you. We just got to do it. Like whatever. We just got to do it. It's do like, what? It's so it's so sad that like the active pres acting president is like leaning on the the guy. <laughs> Who tried to steal the last election, yeah. or how I don't know, whatever, depending on who Trump you are, did not so who won it, him. yeah, from yeah. stolen from him. That's the better verbiage, whichever one, the correct. And then, uh, yeah, and then, uh, <laughs> keep them all happy. And uh, listen, that <laughs> fair election, yeah, the fair, the, the fairest, yeah, yeah, but he's just like, we, you, we can find a solution, even if it's your solution, we just gotta close this thing up, yeah. Then That's he so saw weird. a butterfly. Is he like, talking oh. about the border? Uh, Ice cream and butterflies. Oh, well, I think it's because Biden don't know what the hell he's doing. So as a new homeowner, I mean, as a new home, homeowner, home renter, yeah. Home renter. As a new home renter, um, I'm excited to be inside a house again. I nice. can tell you that. What are you going to do in there, man? Dude, so many things. Like, instead of, like, in our apartment right now, because we're, like, packing, but we also just got, like, a day bed. There's only literally like a walkway in our apartment. You can go this way, you can go di you can go horizontal and in vertical in our apartment, and that's it. What is this chess? You can only go. And you literally can. We are pawns in our own apartment because there's no space. I can only go up or left. That's it. I can, and I can go backwards, but you can't you can even only turn go around. You can diagonal if you're attacking something. You can't even, dude. You can't even turn around in our apartment right now. You have to just you walk into the door and a then you just walk street. straight and then you have to walk backwards to get to the other spot. It's very tight. So I'm excited to have space again. The like animals. This. He said his apartment's a one-way street. Yeah. You got to turn. You got to go all the way to the end to turn yeah. around and come For, back. You really do. <laughs> so the animals. We oh, don't have, have any zoo. animals, okay. JJ. Uh, so yeah. how many pets do you have? We don't have any pets, I JJ. Mean, we have one dog. We have one dog. J JJ, catch up to yeah. what's going on. He's Wait, trying dude, to say that what? his lease, his land, his landowner doesn't know he has pets. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Catch up. So anyway, we have a dog and some cats. A cat. I don't think we know a single person who has legitimately qualified for a house as long as I've lived. Maybe it's just because of my tax well, we, bracket. Dude, we but... looked at 12 houses. We got denied from our first one, and then we got the second one we didn't get. And then this We told the truth in the one. first application. They were like, nah, you cannot live here. <laughs> and then we lied on the second one. They're like, yeah, we love that you make $600,000 a year. That's fucking great. Get on in here. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, yeah, we have a lot of animals. I'm just excited because I can get space away from the animals. We can let them go outside. Ooh, fine. Let them go outside because now when you wake up, the dog sitting about there. That too. Yeah, okay, now I'm also very they can about dig that. out and run through the neighborhood. And you have to go get them. That's fun yeah. about yeah. Oh man. Just well, I'm excited just to see them because mm -hmm. they've never had a life outside of the apartment. So 
they Ooh. never had a yard. So uh, that was captivity. that was a big reason. That was a big reason why I wanted this house too. We have a huge backyard. <laughs> like Greg's plan. This is like free Willy for these fucking animals. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Free Willy. I am Free Willy. Yeah, you look. You look. Free you Willy look like. Else? You look like Moby. Yeah. You look like Moby Dick. <laughs> Get the blue! You look it's like out there. Hello. Get the harpoon! Okay. The whale is near! The <laughs> eye! Captain the great man. white eye is near! Come on, Marcus, give us a taste hey, of what you're all... like, Hey, more like Arr. no no Moby wants his dick. Damn it. Oh, fuck. That Moby's shit. Ooh. That hurts. Oh shit, bro. That hurts. Because <laughs> it's Moby's dick. Did y'all hear, hear the air leave the broom? Bro. Like I mean, this? Justin had a tail, it'd be between his legs right now. Yeah, <laughs> I would. Yeah, I wish if he I was had an it. ostrich, he'd be fucking yeah, in the ground. He'd look like his dog right now. Yeah, if he's a bird, he'd be flying south. If he was a butterfly, hey, he'd be Marcus, Mexican. And if you had hair, you wouldn't be wearing a hat. <laughs> oh, nah. Marcus has hair. He does. He just drinks just think, too much yeah. Diet Coke. Just because you're wearing a hat. Is that what it is? You've been <laughs> drinking <laughs> diet, just, too much diet? He drinks too oh, much I, diet. I, I switched to Diet Pepsi, it was cheaper. Of course you did. Pepsi's cheaper than Coke. I thought they were all the same price. Nope. No. Not at H-E-B. Nope. Not at the store. So you're telling me that people know Coke is better? Well, when I do the taste test, I go, which one's cheaper? Do diet drinks make you of lose Of course hair? you do. Yeah, I was I was balding well before the Diet Coke became a factor. So maybe you need to start drinking again. I've been thinking about that. Can you pull up the video from Marcus's YouTube where he has hair and he's doing a German accent thing? That's crazy. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> That's like that's that's a, that's a Marcus, Marcus you do not know. It's oh, just type in Marcus. I had it. One being... of our buddies put it up in the green room the other day, and he was no like, way. he was, was like, have y'all seen this? It was you. It was you. It was Greg. <laughs> Wait, you put yeah. it up in the green? Room? Yeah, yeah. And we were, How did you find this? We were all video? sitting there going, "What the fuck? Who is this guy?" Yeah. You no, type in Marcus no, Olin, no, gay guy me. sucks dick for money. You Thank were telling you. me oh, no, not that one. The reason was you were telling me Marcus's videos got views because he put tits in every thumbnail for his for, for his podcast. Yeah, that was yeah. porn yeah. capitalism, a couple of spikes guys. On him, yeah. Check it out. You can just type my name. It's my top viewed video. Yeah, I mean, Jesus is. Christ, guys, how hard is YouTube? Yeah, and I'm not that video. See, that's anymore. that's him with absolutely no hair. Oh, that's uh, an epic trailer. Popular. There, there it is. is. There it is. That's Marcus. That's his Marcus with hair. Younger version. Forty-four thousand views. Marcus used to be somebody. Whoa, Marcus. Uh, that one gets recommended a lot. That's more views than your Amazon shit. Prime special. Probably. Inside. Angry dad, see? I gotta hear this. Say it out loud. This is literally the bit. That I do. What are you kids doing outside? Ooh, I like your sweater over there. Yeah, that's a nice sweater. <laughs> get back in the house. Where did you get it? Where did you purchase it? Right now, get the fun. Ooh, Banana Republic. I love that store. That's a nice what? store. Yeah. Perhaps later. I Marcus, you really nail a gay accent. Yeah, I'm good at it. Are yeah. you? But the hair's beautiful. I'm good at accents. Yeah, I have. I used to have hair. You know how much combing over and mousse and gel and bullshit yeah, is in there? Just to, yeah, you can see it. <laughs> dude, look it's at those smart. views on Marcus's old podcast, man. Crushing it with the tits and ass, dude. Yep, tits and ass. That's what they want. That's what we do. We love women. <laughs> Commandment number two. I love women. We know you love the Maserati. Women are sick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the one with the girl sitting in a chair? Who's that? Sometimes when I'm at home and I don't know what to do, I oh, pull up Marcus's podcast and figure out which one to search. Why millennials are lazy. Dude, that one. Wait, what oh, is it? Can you explain the premise of this podcast? Because I have no idea. Oh, I would, I would, it was a lot of right wing ranting. And then about 30 minutes in, I would do a five to 10 minute profile on one of these porn stars where I would just, I would read their description. He literally did. I would read their description from, uh, what was it? You know, like Pornhub Pornhub or something. Yeah. You know, one of the sites. Oh my God. Look at Marcus gave back another old joke. Wait, go up a little bit. Wait, go up a little more. Sorcerer stoned. You used that joke twice, dude. You. You son of a bitch! I said I smoked out of the Sorcerer's Stone, which is wow, true. Which dude. is true. Which is true. But what about Cecilia Lyon? That's pretty cool. Pretty good. <laughs> What's Cecilia Lyon? I mean, not bad. What's Cecilia Lyon? Not Lyon? bad at all. Pretty solid. Pretty what good. What are you talking about? What's Cecilia Lyon? Porn and capitalism. Duh. Yeah. Catch up. Yeah, I mean, there's so much to catch up on if you I'm really not want to. Look it up. It's yeah, porn. you don't have to. It's a porn. I was going to do it for Dustin earlier. Yeah, they're all porn stars. Is that, that is that is that Justin's mom? You did it one on Justin's mom. That's crazy. Oh, that's your mom. She's one of my faves, dude. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> oh wait, I'll do a Marcus. No, no, I mean, hey, Sarai can I do a Marcus Minx, rebuttal? Sarai Minx is one of my faves. Let me do a Marcus rebuttal. Uh, Turn, Marcus, Marcus is getting actually, distracted. Turn off his old podcast. Yeah, he's really looking at this. my old podcast. He's looking down Glory Road right now. I'm like, yeah, that was a pretty good one. I remember Sarai when I did my Minx. research for that episode. That was a lot of reasons. He did it all on my iPad, too. Ooh, it's, Not all. That's why the buttons don't work on it yeah. anymore? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I get one? 
That's why it's now only 1080p Please. and not 4K anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So how's the how is the dog life? We talked about his house life. Oh, I got the dog. Oh, yeah. so I got a house. <laughs> Did I tell you guys that? I'm renting a house. <laughs> we we move in Friday. Park. We literally move in Friday. That means wow. nothing. It does. What? what are you excited about, dude? Dude, I'm excited about. I did. Yeah, we're, yeah. Well, what are you hi, y'all. We just about. did this. We just did five minutes. <laughs> that wait, was didn't... the joke, guys. Move on. He got a sorry, dog. Sorry, you idiot. guys showed me porn so wait, stars. I reset, feel... dude. I just reset, dude. Yeah, dude, stop. Please. You need to go into the bathroom and, and uh, no. need a minute for yourself, Marcus. Oh, I'm going to need more than a minute. No, you don't. I know it takes one pump. I did. I did fifty-two episodes. Oh, <laughs> that's what they call them. One pump, Oland. Yep. Hey, to be honest, the it's other a big day. Pump, though. Hey, the other day I did wake <laughs> one up. One big to, pump, Oland. Hey, I did wake up with some. Uh, I got morning sex, and I did finish in like two pumps. <laughs> nice. Nice. I was sad. I go. Hey, hey. In I, the so in the so house, far on this pumped. episode, we have covered home and gardening, <laughs> and Justin's sex life. What no, and you your and dog. No, no and his we, dogs. And your house. And Marcus's old podcast that was awesome. Do you have a pool? No. And you're living that far away from me now? You have a backyard. You can bring Joe. Uh, Sounds like I'm going to be hanging out with Marcus a lot more. Hell yeah, If dude. I'm driving that far north, bro, he's got, he's got a pool. Oh, yeah. Nice pool. And he can hang out here. Nah, you have a pool? I don't like yeah. how he just got right behind you. Oh. You know what, Philip? Why, why don't we do a wait, podcast wait, together? Wait. We don't even need <laughs> this shit. Everything stops. Farted, wait a dude. sec. Uh, Philip, first Slender, of all, uh, first of all, when did when did any of y'all come to my spot? I always come through. Every time I call Philip, he goes, he always so ends up. Because I, know, I live in listen, the I live in the middle of everything. But he goes, it's, he goes, he goes, he goes, come through. And guess what I do? I come through. I move a little bit away, and my friends still aren't gonna come. Ooh, ooh. Listen, listen, I did want to get to this, Justin. You said you you're renting a house in Austin. I, no, I want to know where in Austin is. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a little I'll tell north. You, if Austin is a rectangle, hey. which it is, down the one and the thirty-five, it draws a it draws a perfect rectangle, right, with the seventy-one on the bottom and the the what is it, set whatever on the top. Doesn't matter. Perfect rectangle. Yeah, me and Justin used to live near the bottom right-hand corner of that rectangle down here, and now Justin lives at the very very top opposite side of a very long rectangle. Yeah. For like exactly, he moved to the opposite side of the United States. Yeah. <laughs> Up where I live. You I'm know what I heard? You, I heard that they're not you're even going to cool consider guy. you an Austin comic what anymore. Uh, you got, yeah, you, you, you're a, I you're heard a, Cap City won't let you apply to... I never you're, an Anders, <laughs> you're an Anderson Mill comic now. <laughs> Oof. They get uh, more. Austin comedy. They do get booked more. Yeah, Justin, you're going to get booked. Hey, I live in Pflugerville, man. Don't matter. Zip, oh, code, zip code don't matter. Well, here's the thing. Hey, you know what? Zip- I, I grew up I grew up driving my whole life. Stop I'll touch- still see you. You don't have to touch... Because yeah. I'm mad. I call him Jeff. Because you guys Gordon. just made me feel really like everything. I was like excited, and then you guys just brought me down so you hard. You should have forked up the other extra two k a month to live downtown. <laughs> I'm already forking up my life over just to live that far away. <laughs> You're so f- hey yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. I yeah, guess we're never gonna see. I'm gonna hang out with Marcus. <laughs> Whatever, guys. You know what? I had to grow up. I have a fiance. We're getting married. Nice. You I wanna, have to. You want to see? Uh, you want to see my impression of us and you to hang out? Fiance? It's me. I'm laying out. I'm in a pool. I answer a Facetime. I go, "Hey, what's up, Justin? Oh yeah, me and Marcus are just hanging out in the pool right now at his place. You want to come over from your house?" And then you'll be like, "Yeah, I guess I'll go there because that's where y'all are at." Aren't Aren't I close to you? You're still like 25 minutes from me. You moved out there, dude. You moved away from everything. How far away are you from here? 30 miles. 30 no. miles. I'm like. 30 miles. It's like an hour right now. <laughs> no, it's, it was like, it's like 30 minutes from me. Man, congrats. Let's look it up. 0%. What's look, 25, 30 impossible. minutes? Let's look it up. No What's the address? I, I mean, with no traffic, podcast. it's not that. Like, yeah. that's insane. Like 30, that's a crazy 30, thing type in, to Type say. in the address What's for me right now. What's the address? I think it's a close one. But it is 30 miles. I just type in the this city. This is not interesting. This is probably cut. This is, yeah, this, this is, is terrible. This is probably cut. Okay. Sorry, sorry. We're going to cut. That's the I best know, type of podcast. They wanted. Hey, everybody, minutes. this is a great time for you to remember to like, comment, 40, subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you like this podcast, it gives us an opportunity to bring our voices to more people to make them dumber as well. And if you want to be dumb, keep listening. <laughs> I should start we got a, more dumbass shit for you, dude. Get dumb as hell with us. I should do a plant podcast. Yeah. <laughs> the plant cast. Plant cast. Wait, are you an industry plant? I think this is. I right. wish. Dude. If <laughs> I was industry an farm, that's what it's called. Industry plant. Yeah, dude, that's the name of the podcast. And it's just it is with thirty plants. miles away. Yeah. It is thirty-six oh. minutes to get there. Thirty-six minutes. If I was an industry plant, my life would be right? way Jesus better. Jesus Christ, you're living up in Cedar Park now, dude. Yeah, yeah. dude. CP. Ooh, Texas Roadhouse, though. That's cool. That's that's how you know you're in prime America. I live next oh. to it. I live next. 
next to a Texas Roadhouse now and homeless people. Because they're everywhere. There's no Texas Roadhouse over here. There's a Texas Roadhouse right next to me. I would have been there. It's not true. What are you? T- Texas Roadhouse is it's right there. You would argue about no, this? I can talk about it all day. I've never been to that Texas Roadhouse, and I would have been to that Texas Roadhouse if it was there. Yeah. Do you like Texas Roadhouse? I like Texas Roadhouse. I like Texas Roadhouse. We want to go there before we move. Hey, we want to go there before we move. I like that you can throw the peanuts on the floor in the lobby. That's not a thing anymore. Oh, that sucks. I I, couldn't go there. I couldn't go there. Oh, you're allergic to the peanuts? Yeah, Yeah, dude. Hey JJ, so I guess. Why are you guys still throwing the hey, peanuts JJ, on the floor? Ooh. Thank, thank God you're not an elephant. Thank God you're not an elephant. <laughs> Y'all both had funny ones right at the same time. <laughs> it's great when when people talk over each other and both things are funny. <laughs> I called you well, a Gra- Jew. Yeah, we we can't talk about what Grace said. <laughs> that part's cut. Wait, how is that funny? And I can't say Hitler. Because Philip doesn't like that word. I don't like Hitler. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, I'd love to. I didn't do nothing. So I was this is a great time for us to tell you that this podcast is brought to you by plants. Plants, <laughs> they've been around forever. You may have seen them just walking around in your daily life. And they you remind us like that them. growth takes a long time. Yeah. And that's it's why we need time. you to like, comment, and subscribe. It's like watering our little plants. Just like, just like, just like it our... It might work, I don't just, know. just like the other product we are sponsored by is Rogaine. It takes some time to grow your hair back. Marcus is... Yo, that is shit doesn't of... fucking work. <laughs> I used Rogaine in high school. That shit... Uh, bro, you dude, I used it in high guys, school? I used Rogaine in high school. My senior year, I was fucking getting a little bald spot. I remember because our gym was raised. Like, the floor was down here and the seats were up here. And we had a fucking basketball game. It's just and, like, like your hairline, bro, dude. Bro, I remember because all the opposing fans could see my bald spot. So they'd be like, hey, nice bald spot. They'd be like, give it to number 10. They would, and I hit a three. But, like... <laughs> I had a good game that game. Yeah, white but player, were, baby. White players. Well, we were pretty all white, but yeah. <laughs> I was still the whitest guy on the all white team. <laughs> the suburbs of Detroit. And we did have black kids. It's happening, Greg. What is? Oh, no. It's falling apart. Oh, your guys' fake coins? <laughs> your guys' fake money? Are they Ooh. going up? Is yeah. the fake money worth more fake money? Dogecoin <laughs> is now at 20 cents. Should I invest? How much is Shiba at? I have uh, I have 370 million Milady meme coins. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, I have what? I have I have one million bonk coins. Bonk. Nice. I have uh I have one point five million Dog- Doglon Mars. Doglon. And, com- yeah. and combined, all of that's almost three hundred dollars. I have a question. How much are the? Uh, what was the second one you said? Listen, I'm too rich to talk to y'all anymore. Yeah, I can tell. What are you up? Do you need I, to ride home after this? I bought Shiba Inu <laughs> coin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't God have a car. Says. I don't have a car. But yeah, I'm I, so rich, I don't need a car. Yeah, why don't you take one of them Doja coins, dude, and fucking buy a car, man? I'm up $100 today, okay? <laughs> hey! <laughs> see, Greg? Nice. Well, let me see how Shiba right, What does that mean? Oh, we're up 40 bucks since the last time me and Greg checked. When was that? I want to invest. Well, we got Chili's earlier. Hey, I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> Yeah. So we're really so we're down. down. So we're down. We're down pretty much. Because we got a two for 20 and shit. And we're just dead. I had to go into Sounds my... Like do- you're breaking even. I could have spent that $20 to get another like 1.4 million Shiba Inu coins. <laughs> and I, had to ask the, had to, I had to ask the survey if they accept cryptocurrency for tip. I still haven't even gotten the fees back in the money I made. <laughs> you're weak. Do you guys accept Dr. Seuss coins here? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll remember I'll remember Look It's gonna hit And there will be signs And y'all won't get any Y'all won't get any Any of yeah. my winnings You'll just know There'll be signs You'll be like Oh wow Oh shit Phil's playing with Phil's Fruity drinking today. Lone okay. Star All the time now That's crazy <laughs> Oh shit Instead Phillip- of most of the time It's like all the time oh, now shit. Philip got his own Uber He didn't ask us to drive him he got Whoa a- <laughs> Did Phil get no, that's a always gonna happen. Koozie For his Lone Stars dude Holy shit That's what's cr- I just ended up Handing y'all hundred dollar bills Whenever y'all drop me off I, Thanks, man. I can't wait for that <laughs> If you do that's that I'm investing it You have 30k in there I used to have 30k in Bitcoin No way What happened to it I lost all of it <laughs> All of it? I lost every single how cent you, of it. Why? Yeah, how much did you put in? All right, well, here's the thing. So when I moved here, I put in, I had $5,000 saved up. And the first day I moved to Austin, I read an article on Bitcoin. I'm like, this is the future. I put all $5,000 I saved up to move here into Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. And then in three months, or maybe like four months, it spiked up to $30,000. And that was all my money. And Bitcoin didn't last very long. No. Oh, and, so you didn't get the spike so, in time? Yeah, no, so I saw it going up, and I'm like, yeah, this will never stop. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, 
<laughs> it didn't. It's, it's up now more than it ever has no, been. No, but here's the thing. I had since I had all my money in Bitcoin every month to pay my bills, I would just sell some oh Bitcoin. Oh my god, you paid like every, sixty thousand dollars. Every single time in I rent. went to the grocery Wait. store, I would sell Bitcoin on my phone and buy my groceries. Why I'm did like, you sell I, it? Why could, didn't you? Couldn't you just take a dividend or whatever? You had to do the same thing. No, you used to have oh, hold yeah. some Bitcoin. And you we all did. I didn't yeah. have thirty thousand yeah. dollars of Bitcoin. I, I had, had like, like three hundred. I had a couple yeah. grand of Dogecoin, which would now be worth what it was worth when I sold it again. So then it hit sixty five thousand. I had thirty k in it, and then it started going down. So you had like half a Bitcoin. I had half a Bitcoin. Yeah. Shit, dude. And you didn't sell. No, no, I didn't sell at all. I believe. When when did you sell? I sold because bills had to be paid, and that was all my money. And Do it you was want down. To know how much it, it would down, be worth now? It was down. Please. It went from sixty five thousand down to thirteen thousand, oh, and the oh. amount the amount of money left by the last time I sold was a hundred dollars short of the rent I needed. So. <laughs> Bitcoin is now at seventy thousand dollars. Oh no, yeah, I would have had thirty thousand dollars again if I didn't lose all that. But you uh, got thirty five, hey, dog. Spend money for years. But now I get to hang out with you guys, work at Sunset. We all complain about how we're broke, and that strengthens friendships. That's true. So, That's a good point, Greg. Ah, you guys wouldn't have liked me. Yeah, dude, and I live so guys, far away, you guys so we wouldn't have liked me. About. You guys wouldn't have ended up liking me if I still had 30 grand oh, in Bitcoin. crypto Greg? I would hate crypto Greg. <laughs> yeah, you would hate crypto, crypto Greg. Crypto rich Greg pulling up in some bullshit fucking... Three series BMW because that's all I could really afford. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Just fucking douchey ass Jordans. You know what been, I mean? Yeah, hey, wait a sec. But Say, these are Goodwill Jordans. So the point is, I lost thirty grand in Bitcoin and I paid for it in friendship. That's basically okay, a college redo degree. Redo that because this was going to yeah, be a clippable that's good, moment. That's good. Positive. This was a clippable moment. Positive. So you said that too. <laughs> now it's not clippable. Now I'm poor and I feel like like I have stuff in common with all my friends. All right. Not for long, though, right? We're on our way up right now. Not for We're long. We're on our way up. And podcasting is much more legitimate than Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. Right. And you're a part of the Works Every Time That's podcast, funny. which is the hottest new podcast right now. Buy some wet coin. It's at point zero 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 one two cent right now. Let's make but a you, coin. Let's make a coin. We could make a coin. Yeah. Let's yeah. make wet coins. That's how people make money from it. They make the coin and they just like what, get it in it. and they <laughs> no, it pyramid. just goes up a little bit. And you're like, okay, I had nine so billion of those. Pump and dump. The US yeah. government does it. No, dude. Milady meme coin is a real thing and it's gonna be real one day. I didn't say it's not real. I just said it's a scam. I'm gonna buy Miladies with my Milady meme coin. But you're gonna buy ladies? Can I I'm not gonna buy ladies. Okay. Miladies. But my when ladies. I was uh, Miladies. When I was super into Bitcoin, I told my mom to buy a thousand dollars of it. Oh. <laughs> While it was at sixty k, oh. and so for like two years, she had lost like the thousand dollars she put in, and she'd rub it in my face all the time. Yep. But she never sold because she actually has money besides Bitcoin. Smart. So now she's up, and she she texts me, and she's like, "Gregory, I'm up two hundred dollars on this Bitcoin you told me to buy." She texts you, Gregory. Yeah, she calls me Gregory. That's pretty yeah. cool though, because if you'd have told him at the right moment, you would have like changed your family's life. Yeah. Because the person I talked to recently told me they were like. He told me, take whatever amount of money you want to do and pepper it evenly across meme coins because that's what, like, it's like this weird handoff of wealth thing going on. So you do get 1.9 million of them or whatever for 20 bucks. But in a scenario where next year when crypto does its thing once a year where it takes off, if that's the chosen meme coin that gets to blow up, your 20 bucks you threw at it a year ago might be worth, like, 49000 fucking dollars now crazy how that it's and I, like you're saying i don't know where's the fucking worth that where yeah. where can you put it at but but then it, is it it is gambling it is gambling yeah. until it's able to be well like there you can spin bitcoin you can spin it's weird that there's a currency that fluctuates as much as it does but there's also usd coin as well that stabilizes that apparently meters the market in a weird way i don't know how that works but my I just buy the shit and hope to God that I'm rich one day. Yeah, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do, too. If I would have just Foolproof. held the Dogecoin I bought in college when I bought it at point zero zero zero, it was eight zeros and a two. Well, what's crazy And then I sold it when it got up to five cents. If I would have held it right now, it would be worth like $16,000, but I sold it for three k. dollars When we were in high thing. school, kids would buy ounces with Bitcoin on the internet. So, like, literally all of my friends had more than one Bitcoin at some yeah. point in high school. Nice. But they just spent it on... We had 12 <laughs> Bitcoins. <laughs> we had 12 Bitcoins in college. We spent it on Silk Road 2. Swear to God. God. Yeah. That's why I tell people I've done $100,000 worth of acid. 
even though it was only like four or five experiences. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> that was, it is now like $100,000 worth of fucking Sid. You, wow. It's crazy to think about that. Like in college, we were buying like, like hey man, give me that 100 bucks and we'll get 15 Bitcoins and we'll get this shit shipped well, to our like, guy. Uh, this pizza shop, <laughs> when, when Bitcoin first started, there was a pizza shop and they sold a pizza for 10,000 Bitcoins. Nuts. And now that's the... What? Yeah. Somewhere there's a yeah. piece of shit floating around the ocean. Yeah, because Bitcoin was worth like only a couple cents at that time. So like the pizza shop was like doing a Bitcoin promo thing. Yeah. And yeah, they, so they only sold one pizza, but it was for 10,000 Bitcoin. So the guy who bought that pizza is, is retarded. retarded. Yeah. Sure. What happened to the pizza company, though? They have like $80 million. Ah! <laughs> Justin, have you heard of Papa John's? Yes. <laughs> of course I have. They How eat. do you think they got hey. the better ingredients? Hey, <laughs> hey, so hey, cute. Marcus. They used to have one of my. Don't they used to. The they used to have my favorite CEO. <laughs> yeah, they now have my favorite. John CEO. John Schneider, or whatever. Shaquille O'Neal. Yes, I love Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, I. The love day Shaq. that John Schneider dropped the in bomb, I was working at Papa John's, and we were. That's was what like, I was talking was about. That's yeah. why I said the bit. No, I was in the room. Phil we we literally got a call. 30 minutes after he did it, like, I shit you not, we were a franchise, we weren't even corporate. We yeah, get a call. got a call like, dude, can I get 15 large pizzas for this, <laughs> for this clan rally I got going? In Huntsville, Texas, there were some of those orders, but we got a call, and they're like, they're like, we need you to take down everything that has, like, a quote from him or his face on it. And we're like, we turned around, and I was like, I just got done folding a thousand pizza boxes with his fucking face on it. And they're like, well, what do we do? They're like, flip them inside out. So when people open it, they get, boom, racism. Just Whoa. like, up, upside down racism. It's like... It's, Which is actually anti-racism. It was crazy. We had to, we had to like, go... We did, like, a big box burn after work that day. It was nuts. You had to do a box burn? Yep, we had a box that burn. That seems racist. Yeah. It was a little... Yeah, and I would look at... But uh, what he did was racist, so it's like, I don't know. It was okay, crazy. in I mean, my mind... We used to take the two liters, and we drank as much as we could, but then we'd shake them up, and we'd, like, toss them up in the air and watch them explode in the parking lot. They had on them? Yeah, dude. Papa... Dude, that guy is a narcissist like no other. He'd, like, private label everything that Papa John's got its hands on, you'd see his yeah. face on a Pepsi bottle. I heard he's a narcissist. Dude, he called himself the N-word once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> Just, you know... Narcissist. It's classic. Cra <laughs> crazy that Shaquille O'Neal is now like their guy. Yeah. Yeah. The, big, the big best American ever. Shaquille, four time champion. I love Shaquille O'Neal. Well, Old medalist. He, did, he didn't. He like. He like stepped back. It's still his company. He's just like, hey, hey man, you can't. You're retired now. You still own it, but yeah. like you can't be here. Yeah, it's kind of like Jurassic Park too. But honestly, he was probably like, why didn't I say it sooner? Jesus Christ, I'm on paid leave for the rest <laughs> of my life. Well, he was probably saying it sooner. <laughs> That's the one thing oh, I don't. Yeah. That's the it's one like thing. It's like drug driving. You don't get caught doing what he did it the, the first, first time. time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're correct on that one. I yeah. will. Yep, yep. And it goes great with pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no, officer, I was on my way to pick it up because I couldn't afford the delivery fee. <laughs> it's funny. Got, can you believe? Because I spent you, all my money on the alcohol. So can't just, you believe it's? Can you believe it's four ninety nine now for them to just even think about taking it to my place? It's not even like going. It's the fee. Then I gotta it's tip them too. Holy Whoa. shit! This guy wants us to take it to him. That's gonna cost like five bucks for me to even process right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh wait, wait, you gonna tip me for this? Doc? What the fuck are you talking about? I just paid you nine dollars to logistically set this up. It's, yeah. It was an eleven dollar pizza. And it's cold. Sorry, I'm. I, it, when I was delivering, <laughs> and now it's cold because you you, it, you spent five dollars amount of processing time on it. <laughs> <laughs> You're paying yeah. more now for it to show up later than ever. And then you, the guy shows up, you order Papa John's or Domino's, and, like, a guy from a third-party company shows up. It's, like, some guy from Postmates that hasn't been yeah. around for two years, but they, they're hanging on through Papa John's. Guy shows up with a Postmates. He's, like, I, he's like schizophrenic as hell. He's, like, I have your Papa John's order. He's, like, yeah, you would have not been hired by Papa John's. I know because I worked there. Uh -huh. And they were a second-chance employer, but that's not the point. They, they would not hire someone this scary looking to knock on your dude, door at 11. Complex, yeah. Dude. It's 11.30 p.m. You get a soft knock. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, I have your Papa John's order. They're closing soon. They had me come pick it up for you. Oh, is that why it's been two hours? Yeah. It wasn't closing soon when I ordered it at 7.30 p.m. Bro, you want to uh, know? Yeah, that's it. But you're right, you're right. Happy tomorrow. It's 11.59. Thanks for the fucking pizza, dipshit. Dude, that pisses me off so much getting the Uber Eats. You spend so much money on the delivery, and you're like, oh, cool. Now I have to heat everything up. Yeah. And it's just it's like, I'm like, I, I told her last night, we literally got Uber Eats. I go, I hate this. <laughs> Because now I have to heat it up. It's not good. Bro. Have you had a guy on a bike bring your shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's enough to make you want to kill somebody. It's like, oh, yeah, I just love that my food was out there hanging from handlebars for 45 minutes. 
What, a no, homeless person for, bring it to you? Chick-fil-A breakfast at 6 o'clock in the morning. He ordered it. Like, also, I live next to a highway. <laughs> this person had to take their 10-speed down an access road to get my chicken minis at 6.30 a.m. And he shows up, and I'm mad at him. I'm like, dude, you fucking piece of shit. Why you why why you even work for this place? I you might tell my chicken minis were exposed to the elements this entire time. Bro, you know what we did the other day? <laughs> we got so high, we Uber Eats an ice cream cake. From where? No, you didn't. Baskin Robbins? Uh DQ. DQ? Oh, was they, it good? They aren't cheap. They're like 35 bucks. It was a $60 order. Holy oh my shit. Because we got the big one. We got the tennis. If you're yeah. getting an ice cream cake. I love their ice cream cake, though. Their crust, though. The crust it's, is my favorite on their ice cream cake. It's just a crust. It's, no, no. it's ground up Oreos. What the but fuck it, are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> no, it's a different type. It's a different enough. bite, though. Justin, it's a different type. The opposite problem of having to heat up all the food. I had to let it thaw out. It's just a rock hard fucking ice cream. By the time it got so there, it would have been fine. It wasn't. You wanted him to be on a bike in that situation. Than yeah. when we bought it. Hey, yeah. can you can you can you have a guy on a bike bring it because to Pflugerville, please. It thawed, they would. They would send they would send Miguel on a on a bike for 49 miles. <laughs> Yeah. I always wonder about those Slap people. Slap him on the ass on the way Give out the door. Give that guy a passport. If he fucking delivers my goddamn <laughs> ice cream cake on a bike, that guy's just saying. They pull up on a lime scooter. It's like, wow, you are, you are, you are in the, you are in the matrix. You yeah, are dude. delivering Uber Eats on a lime scooter right now. Yeah. Two, you got three companies who know where the fuck you're at. <laughs> <laughs> and you pay taxes. On you it. paid that. You're 10.99, yeah. bro. Yeah. That's a scam, dude. Hey, That's a scam. You know what? Did, you know what today? So after <laughs> I got on my own today at my new job. New job. New job. New job and alert. So, new, new job, job alert. alert. No, 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 no. It works Keep every it. time. So <laughs> I do work every day. Uh, so um, I'm supposed to get my pay the next. I get my tips the next day, and there's a the the app we use, and it. Uh, I was supposed to set. I was setting it up, and it says you can either get direct deposit to your bank account, or classic. Or you get, or you get your own debit card and like account with your tips that you can transfer to your bank account. Ah, oh, and like now, a poor person the does. The felons. But, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But now get this though. This is the cool thing about it. The, the you, ever, you ever see a guy on a date pull out his pay card? Yes. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I'm getting about ten percent on this yeah. tip. Well, no. The crazy thing is, get this. The 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 site that you use to get the direct deposit, it's seventy five cents a day that it puts it in there. So if you work all those shifts, that's over. You're spending over three hundred dollars to get your money a year. Just on that's like how many you shifts you work. You get a checking account. I have a checking. I have a bank account. Yeah, that's that, that's where that, that's where it's worth it, right? I mean, you obviously you're getting the direct deposit situation. I don't know. I've, I just signed up for the not. I signed up for the free one. No, you sign up for. Put it on your direct. Yeah, the free one. Going into your, you get a check in your direct deposit. No, you don't. The direct deposit costs seventy five cents a day. So what's the free one? A written yeah, check. But what, but the free tip, one is the pay card that you can push like it over. It's like a vet. Yo, that's fucking wild for the yeah. company to charge you three hundred dollars for your money a year. You should be able to deduct that from your taxes. It's then. not the. Co- it's not my what restaurant. The it's the. It's the. It's the. Uh, thing that we use to yeah, get Yeah, one company is just sitting there making a good fucking, t- yeah. you know. Do y'all it's like not Venmo. know about processing fees? Yeah, we just talked about the $5 yes, pocket dog thing. That's what I'm saying. You fuck. I'm <laughs> fucking pissed, dog. God, and dude. They're not, they're not, if anything, the people who are taking the processing fees are working less. They're just they're going, yeah. no, big damn bad. Oh, they're calling. They have a problem with their POS at the, at the restaurant. Well, have you tried turning it on and off again? <laughs> oh, I hate them. <laughs> Yeah, motherfucker. Is the Wi-Fi down? No, motherfucker. Well, well hmm. <laughs> yeah. Looks it always like is the hum. Let's let me go ahead and talk to someone. And they always are. They're always able to just talk to someone. They're like, oh, we turned it off on accident. <laughs> you have a switch? There's a switch. Yeah, that's what y'all are paying us the prop. We come in every morning and we turn the switches on. You pay us, you pay us 75 cents a day, everyone there. So you in the movie, you're on. But today, yes. today, you paid, you know, I just forgot to turn the switch. <laughs> <laughs> that's really, that would make more sense. What is going on? I would appreciate. That's what Ticket Ticketmaster, Ticketmaster's like, oh, you want to go see this concert? Tickets are $35, but, you know, we're, we're selling them. It's like 98 And they're like, oh, well, what's that money for? It's like, well, you like them, don't you? <laughs> you, really like, you really like Adam Levine? That's really cool. Uh, yeah, we like them, too. It's, we like them $45 worth. Yeah. You want to you see him? You're like, no, I don't want to see him for $94. He's like, okay. He's like, what the fuck, man? 
It's crazy how they can even allow that shit to happen. How they were like, yeah, we. They just, literally just passed the legislation over it. It was like one of Biden's things when he first got in. Oh, like legislation first for yeah, it. Yeah, they said that the fees were gouging the American people more than necessary, and that they put laws in. But honestly, it hasn't. It doesn't feel like it's changed at all. It's only getting worse. Oh, they tried to make it better. They tried to make a law where like ticketing companies specifically couldn't just gouge people like well, that. Well, I'm assuming Biden and the the party up in there now would want to. Screw yeah. us more well, with they were prices. Try to do it, and then they realize all that gouge money is yeah. great for selling weapons. So yeah. Really Look, cool. I went to a rich person party recently. They don't really. They're not thinking about the ticket nah. fees. <laughs> they're not. Yeah. They own the state. It goes, it goes go back there. into their pocket usually. They they, yeah, they own that company. Right yeah. You still got Christ. the money. I love being poor, and I love that the government supports us being poor, and they want us to stay poor. You Brother, know what's cool about working for the government is you just stay where you are. Greg, how do you feel about fees? I think this is making my plans nervous, honestly. Shut. Bro. Yeah, that, honestly, they they don't look as bright, they are, dude. They're slouching now. It's really they weird. are slouch. Whoa, that was actually kind of weird. They were slouched. They slouched. It's weird. They got set. The no, vibes were off. No, they were perky at no, the they beginning. Said they, they, you know how much we're paying for fucking fertilizer? <laughs> you know how much the fees are on a fucking pot of fertilizer? These are? Leave the baby plant though. He needs to learn about this stuff. Yeah, yeah. dude. The government absolutely <laughs> ass fucking everybody, dude. Yeah, dude. Just hopefully oh, you get man. water We're because they do put the fees. Hey, did did they also tell the did you tell the plant about the water bans here? They're like, hey, make sure what you can only use water when you need water. What about our? We have to change topics because Greg got mugged by gun at one gunpoint apparently. <laughs> you got uh, mugged. Not I want to hear this. Hold on. Did they know about your plants? I got robbed multiple times. Please don't. But... I'm a pan dad. <laughs> three plants at home. One of Fuck them's a baby. Fuck your plants. Fuck you. Sorry, plants. Greg. Wait, what, <laughs> kind, what kind I'm going to take plant? your plants, too. I'm going to fuck them real no, no, good. What? It'd be funny if the if the person mugging was like, man, I got plants, too. <laughs> <laughs> you good. Just lets you go. Yeah, I didn't have plans at the time. Plans too, dude. Wait, so you seriously I'll got mugged? I'll let that one slide. Yeah, I got robbed. I got, I got a... Shut up, Marcus. No. I got, I got robbed at gunpoint. Do that one and then do the gift cards. That's better. Which gift cards, though? Remember the guys that bumped into you and uh, you only had gift cards in your wallet? Oh, yeah. I got, after this, dude. I got robbed. Yeah, I got robbed. I've been robbed a few times. <laughs> no, uh You've been robbed a few times? A few times, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. start with the first. We have to start with all of these. The first robbery was when I was in high school. In high school? <laughs> what? Where were you at? So I was driving what? in the mall parking lot, and I uh, it was like doing donuts. Yeah, just being cool as hell, dude. Just driving around. <laughs> it's dope as dope as hell, being chill as yeah, fuck. Just, <laughs> just driving around the mall parking lot when I'm like 16 years old, looking for friends, just hanging out. Uh, and I it was raining. <laughs> How are you doing pedophile behavior as a kid? <laughs> Just driving hey, around looking for other kids. Out? Is that what he said? Yeah. You said that you were looking around for other kids? Well, I was looking for my friends, yeah. Ah! Oh, your friends. Yeah, my fr- I had the friends The ones who coming. set you up you to get you robbed. Already. I the- knew them already. Okay. Yeah. And maybe there would be some new people I could make friends with, and we'd hang out and play the Xbox and the Zoomy store. Ooh. That's what I used to do. I used to go to the mall, we'd smoke weed, and there was an Xbox in the Zoomy store, <laughs> yeah. and you could go in and play Xbox. Hell yeah. High as fuck while you're just surrounded by sneakers you can't buy because you yeah. guys have no money. Yeah. That checks out. Yeah. So, anyway, I was driving around, and I rear-ended... Uh, I rear-ended a car, <laughs> and the two just, like, really jacked, just really jacked black guys just, just topped out of the car, and they, like, started, like, threatening me pretty much, and I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to rear-end you, and I didn't do any damage to their car, so then, uh, they were like, I was like, yeah, we could, like, exchange insurance and They ran your fucking pockets. Yeah, they ran my fucking pockets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they said they said we don't want to do all that. Ins- they said li- like we're for like we don't want to do all that insurance bullshit. What do you got on you now? And I was like, uh, well, I opened my wallet. I had like ten bucks in there. I'm like, I got I got ten bucks. And they were like, all right, we'll take that. We'll take that. And they took my they ten said bucks it twice like that. Yeah, I'm we'll doing take a, that. We'll take yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing a pretty good impression. I'm like, guys, I really don't have anything else. And then one guy looked at my wallet. He was like. I see gift cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, I see gift cards. And I was like, what? And I looked at my wallet. 
Because, like, I'm a hoarder. I had all these expired gift cards. <laughs> they so saved just, your life. Just, That's the moment you I saved them, them for. I gave them, like, ten, I gave them like ten expired gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> that I had, like, one of them was, like, a Chuck E. Cheese gift card, dude. I handed them that. Yeah, I want that Chuck E. Cheese yeah, card. My, my kids I got are going to like that yeah, shit. I got yeah. kids, yeah, yeah. So I handed them all my expired gift cards. And they were like, <laughs> That's then, amazing. And then once I handed them the stuff, they got, like, weirdly friendly after. They're like, where do you go to high school? Like, you look young. I'm like, I go to this high school. They're like... Oh, you know Kyle? I'm like, yeah, he's like, I play basketball with his older brother. I'm like, oh, it's sick, man. What he robbed the me. Hell? <laughs> he robbed me, dude. How did they rob you? And then they were okay, like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, you were in high okay, school. You hold robbed on, me on. for 19 cents to Buffalo Wild Wings yeah, and a $10 I don't know how bill, hard dude. You, got, you did rear end their car. I rear ended their car. They got 10 bucks, a bunch of expired gift cards. We had some friendly conversation. I went on my way. Dude, a white person would have made you go through insurance. You know, all that would have been a nightmare. Given yeah, I know. These guys were great. Yeah. <laughs> Given that you were driving around looking for friends, ten dollars in expired gift cards is a pretty cheap price to pay and for. They, them. My, they played <laughs> basketball with my friend Kyle's older yeah, brother. That and, was sick. And in a yeah. way, you kind of made two new friends. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Cheap price to pay. Yeah, dude. Oh, he did it. He made him cry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ten bucks to run into a black ice car is a good deal. Yeah, it was. Like well, because that car was also probably stolen, so they didn't want to have okay. insurance. They, they All right, were, one right. second, one second. Who I'm, farted? I choked on my drink. Someone farted. I didn't. Wasn't me. That's Marcus talking. His breath. Yeah. Drank. So that was my first robbery. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was your first. That was one? that was his keen yeah. so Hey, did you guys exchange information? And they were like your security in high school, or anything? Oh, they so they wrote my address down. Why? To come get more gift cards. <laughs> hey, tell man, your mama. This shit expired. I look like an idiot in front of my kid. <laughs> I took my kid to Chuck E. Cheese. I had to, I had to pay for it. Yeah. Did y'all kill that twelve pack? Almost. Did we? Dad. Three of you drinking and you're crushing a twelve or a fucking. That's simple, water. dude. That's light where I do it by myself. Come if on. If they now. were Lone Stars, they would have been so gone. What? I'm talking to Marcus. Yeah, dude, I'm, Phil, I'm sorry I didn't bring Lone Star. I almost thought about bringing a case. Easy. I know, I'm, I'm poor sorry. right now. Mum, Mumford called me. I want to call him he back. He called me too. Yeah, let's put Mumford in the so, podcast. You want to call him? That might anyway, be my second robbery. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, so so Greg, second robbery, robbery number two. Robbery number two. I was doing way more cool shit, selling weed at the time. Hell yeah, uh, hell yeah. I was uh, I was at a. Were you still, wait? I'm sorry to cut you off. Were you still in high school? No, I was in college. Now I was like 19 or 20. What uh, college? Binghamton University. The hell is that? <laughs> The Big hell is that? Binghamton University, uh, one of the top schools in upstate New York. Yeah, uh, they're usually like a 14, 15 seed in the tournament, something like yeah, that. Yeah, really bad D1 team, but top engineering program oh, for the D1? States. Yeah, it's D1. Okay. But we didn't have a football team. We just had a basketball team that sucked. Actually, what was funny about that basketball team is like, since the basketball team was so bad, like they weren't the cool. Like you know how the sports teams yeah, are cool yeah. in college. No, everyone just would shit on the basketball team <laughs> when they showed up to parties. Like, like people, all the losers are here. Oh yeah, like the basketball team would like show up to the parties and people be like, "What do you do?" Like I play on the basketball team. Everyone's like, "Ha, huh, fucking loser!" <laughs> like just like engineering kids, like you fucking dweeb. You play basketball for Binghamton. You must suck. <laughs> You sold ah. weed at Binghamton, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, and I made fun of them, too, because selling weed was way cooler than being on that basketball Come on, team. Come Marcus, catch up. We realized they suck. We're selling weed way cooler. I know, but Greg had potential. He could have sold weed D1, bro. <laughs> I, I did. Greg he sold, was. I know, but like he real went to con- the college. You could have sold <laughs> SEC <laughs> weed. You could have sold Big Ten weed. Man. He could have been an ACC <laughs> weed guy, dude. I sold them weed at a discount because I felt bad for the basketball team. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's hey guys, why they I know sucked you're, all the time. I know you're sad. Here's some weed yeah, to here's some weed. help your pain. Oh, you guys are bad at basketball. Let's try no. getting y'all high first, then see how good you are. So the second time We're I got robbed, I'd sell. I would sell. I'd go to parties with a backpack just like full of weed and edibles, and then like I'd sell weed <laughs> at the parties. It was pretty cool because sometimes I'd black out and I'd wake up and I made like 200 bucks, which is like the opposite of most people's blackout experience. <laughs> the opposite of mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd just black out and be like, whoa, I got $200 on Venmo last night. I'm fucking sick. <laughs> it would just cure the hangover immediately. But uh, <laughs> I'd wake up and be like, I have a $300 cleaning charge on a lift that went 0.7 miles. That's actually true. That's a true story. That's a true story. That's a a true story. I was walking distance from my house, and I was like, I'm going to take a lift. And I didn't realize I had baseball slid through fucking mud earlier because I was hammered, and I was like, I didn't think about it. Yeah, so I was selling weed at this party, 
And uh, this one kid was there. He was like, hey, man, can I buy an ounce off you? And I'm like, ah, I don't really have an ounce on me. He's like, well, he's like, I got money on me right now. I just want to buy like an ounce of weed right now. And I was only like three minute walk from my house. So I'm like, oh, dude, let's go back to my house and sell you this ounce. Oh. And then I could, with that, we could go back to the party and you have an ounce. It'll be sick. <laughs> and then we get to my house. Like I weigh out the ounce and like I give him the ounce and he starts walking towards the door. And I'm like, oh, hey, man, you need my Venmo before you go. And he opened the door and just fucking ran. Greg. 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 So that was the, so that was the second time. You didn't time. run after him? Uh, he was black and fast as hell. So, like, <laughs> he, he, started, he started sprinting. I looked out the front door. I'm like, yeah, I ain't catching I didn't that even guy. like that sweater anyway. <laughs> I yeah, got dude, told I look, the ounce. I got, look, I got told I look fat in that thing. Okay. Pretty much. And then I had to, I was still at the party. All my friends were there. So I had to walk back to the party and be like, fuck, guys, I just got robbed. <laughs> I've, never, I've never been robbed. <laughs> And I was still cooler than the basketball team. I my, got back from being robbed. I went back to the party. I was like, basketball team still sucks. <laughs> my mom used to say, like, don't go get kidnapped. Me faster than you guys. <laughs> don't let anything happen to you when I was in college. She'd be like, don't let anything happen to you. Like, mom, I'm a six foot, 235 pound person. If someone wants to put me in their van, they earned it. Yeah. They are, they're allowed to. Yeah, when, my, when I left the house, my mom always said, don't be an idiot. Yeah. And you, you did not. And you never yeah, listened. You never listened. And she said, also, just because you think it's funny doesn't mean anybody else thinks it's funny. Your mom's a genius. <laughs> that's, that's why Allie's friends are mad at me. Oh, why are they mad at you? Because of that. Because of why? Because I thought things I were robbed. funny. Did you say something fucking hilarious? Why? What did you do? <laughs> you got robbed a third time. Oh, the third time. Oh, the third time. The third time is the third, the third time. Is right now, motherfucker. Give me shit. <laughs> that would be the fourth. Yeah. Oh, okay. Four time. No, yeah. Third time is the craziest robbery Ooh, of all I'm the robberies. Excited. Yeah. So it was this one. I was selling, now I was selling weed out of like an apartment building. <laughs> moved, I moved up. up. I moved to an apartment building right down the street from where all the bars were. So like, I just stopped going to bars. I just hang out at my apartment and people just like come through to my house all night and buy weed or whatever. And then uh, it was so dope. <laughs> Women? I had I had so much fun. Yeah, sometimes women would buy hell weed. Yeah, they, they hell also, yeah, sick, sick, I, sick. I didn't discriminate who I sold to. I sold to women. I sold to <laughs> Jews. I sold to white people, black people, Chinese people. Yeah, well, Indian oh, and people they would all rob you equally. <laughs> hey, you know what's crazy? Buddy's buddy. So, uh, <laughs> so this one guy came to pick up and he came to pick up an eighth from me. I sold him an eighth, and then he uh, he left, and then he hit me up like three hours later. It was like, hey man. This weed's pretty good, and which in retrospect I should have known he was lying because my weed was terrible. I sold, just, <laughs> I just sold dirt weed the whole time I was in college. But I was like, this weed's pretty good. Can I, I come over and pick up like a, an ounce of it? And I was like, I didn't have an ounce left. I was like almost out of weed. So I was like, the same story again. Dude. Yeah. So I was he like, didn't learn from the no, first time. So I said like I was out of weed. So I was like, I could sell you like a quarter ounce. But I just come pick up a Q right now. But I'll give you like the discounted price or whatever. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'll come do that or whatever. And so he comes, and when I open the door, he's there. But there's also two other guys with him now. And I'm like, oh, cool, you brought your friends. All right, let's go. <laughs> yes. I'm like, all right, let's go up the stairs. So we walk up the stairs, like a stairway, and then it's the entrance to my apartment. And in the stairway, the guy grabs me, and he pushes me against the wall. And then his other friend pulls out a gun. They just have a gun pointed at my no. head. And they're like, you need to give us everything you fucking got right now. We're robbing you. Like, you're fucking... You know, whatever they say when you're robbing someone. Yeah. <laughs> of course, that. yeah. Tip of, yeah, the normal Give thing. Give me your stuff. I, I don't really, I don't really remember. You're getting robbed. I yeah. want everything. You have the right so, to remain silent. Anything you so, so I, I don't know what that's that not, means. That's not them, so yeah. they, I have a gun. They're holding a gun to my head. And there's the like just the quarter ounce, as I told y'all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I pull a quarter ounce out of my pocket, and I'm like, I like I said, I only have this. Like, ah, like I yeah. said on the phone. I <laughs> yeah. So like. They're like, so I hand it to them, and they're like, they're like, we know that's not all you got. They're like, we know you got fucking cash somewhere. They're like, you better stop fucking lying to us. And I'm nervous now because all my money's on Venmo. I have no cash. I have no. Shit, I don't got cash. I, dude. Have, I got Venmo. I have no cash on me whatsoever. So I'm like, guys, I don't know what to tell you. I have no cash. This is all I got. And they're like, still holding the gun in my head. They're like, you better stop fucking lying to us. I'm like, I'm not. I'm like. You could go in the house and look. Like, so I just, I just open the door and I'm like, go in and look. And so they put the gun away. They go in and start like trying to ransack my apartment. 
But my two roommates were home. I lived with two Italian women. What was a lesbian? What not a lesbian? That doesn't matter. But yeah. uh, I think it, it does. does matter. It does matter. Yeah. It does matter. So, fun fact. So I live with them, and they see the guys like walking through the house. And they're just sitting in the living room. They have no idea I'm getting robbed yet at this point. And so they're like, they're going to my they're room. They're too busy and stuff. being like, oh yeah. And, like, Whenever you eat box, it tastes so fucking good like yeah. spaghetti. <laughs> They're too busy talking. Oh, no, yeah, ravioli's so, just like some good pussy. So I'm in the living room. These if guys are looking are, for the cash. It's in my pussy. You're going to let it. You're so, going gonna to have to let us run this so, one. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whenever I'm oh. scissoring a chick, I use two pieces of spaghetti. <laughs> Yeah, she That's was pretty sorry, Italian, sorry. Yeah. yeah, and she was Gonna rub Island. a little bit of Capricola together tonight. Yeah. Pretty Italian, hey, very That's lesbian. sexy. Oh, baby, I love it when you spread your legs. It looks like a charcuterie board for me. Oh! <laughs> That's Yeah, it. so she she was at the house. Oh, there's that. Oh, here comes the jalapeno jelly. Oh, oh. oh I love yeah. hanging out with the gaba yeah. gals. No, that's you know gross. What I mean? okay. Discharge so, is gross, sorry. So, I'm in the living room and like I look scared because I just had I just had a gun pointed to my head. So like they look at me and they can sense something's gone awry. Sweetie, arrive. what's wrong? <laughs> no, no. Oh, so, you want some pasta to so get help? The one room, my one roommate, the, the not lesbian one, she stands up and she's like, Greg, what's going on? I'm like, I'm hey, like, you're hey. fucking robbed right like, now. I was just trying to keep them. I'm like, hey guys, don't worry. Just let what's happening happen right now. <laughs> like, just just let them do whatever they want. And she just goes, are those guys fucking robbing you? And then she grabs a broom and she starts chasing them around my house with a broom. And they didn't they didn't know people were home, so they started freaking out. They're like, what the fuck? And she's like, get the fuck out of my house! You're not robbing my friend! And she starts hitting them with like a broom and shit. Dude. <laughs> and then, well, I, I was, love women. A broom saved oh, them. There's a gun. I love women. There's, there's a, a gun, gun and she's like, oh, you had to do Greg would say, no, I don't want you to do that. That's what I said. I was like, I was like, guys, just let them do whatever they want. But they put the gun away, so they didn't know there was a gun. So she's like, she starts chasing them with the broom. She's like, you're not robbing my fucking friend. Get the fuck out of my house. And she starts like hitting them with a broom and like chasing them around. The lesbian and shit. one? And no, that was the not lesbian one. Cool. The lesbian one just called the cops. And I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Ooh, a little good cop, bad lesbian cop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I sell drugs. Like, we can't call the cops. And she's like, no, we need to call the cops. There's fucking guys robbing our house right now. I'm like. Good point. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, they don't need to know you sell weed. <laughs> no, they do. I sold, sold the rest of the weed. Yeah, no, no they do. Yeah, I the sold cops weed. don't need to know that though. Yeah, no, no. So, no the, weed left. so the guys leave. The cops come over because they'd been called to the house, and so like we're all just sitting there, and like, well, what happened? And I'm like, I sell phones. <laughs> I sell used iPhones. I was trying to sell them a used phone, and they like brought us in for individual questioning, oh, and then eventually they're like, they're like, dude. We know you're selling weed. They're like, we don't care that you're selling weed. You're clearly bad at it. We want to find the guys. <laughs> <laughs> they said that. That's amazing. Yeah, they said that. They're like, they're like, dude, we do, like, because I kept saying phone. They're like, we know you're not selling phones. You're selling weed. You're they, clearly bad at selling weed. They're on a weed. first name basis. Like, listen, like, Gregory, this is the fourth time you've had us out. We know you're selling no, weed. No, no, but they said they're like, you're getting house. robbed, Greg. You got to stop These selling are, weed. You're falling for the stings. So then, yeah, yeah. So then, <laughs> yeah, you are terrible because cops. You, no, no, they legit kid. didn't care. They're like, they're like, we're more concerned. There's three dudes walking around the neighborhood with a gun right now, robbing, <laughs> robbing people. And I'm like. Hey, right, whatever. Like they rob. I, I didn't say. I didn't say it, but like I didn't deny it either. They're like smart. They're like, so what they look like? I'm like, oh, it was like three black guys. They're like, you're coming with us. And I'm like, all right. So you the said cops. The magic so, words, brother. So the cops. Yeah, I did say the magic words. You did so the, the cops. cops <laughs> the cops then took Wait, me. Wait, you said what? No, this is crazy. <laughs> so the cops. <laughs> the cops. Did they have drugs on them? Yeah, yeah. So the cops then took me. Put me, put me in their car, and they drove me to the hood, and they rounded up a bunch of black guys they could find within walking distance. <laughs> so about they rounded about up five minutes, you know. They had about they rounded eight, up two like, basketball yeah, teams worth. They rounded up like ten black guys, and they just kept pulling up. They're like, "Is this one of the black guys?" And that you were like, you? "No, but he sucks at basketball." <laughs> 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 and then they pulled me, and they kept pulling these black guys. They're like, they, now they can't see you, so tell us the truth. Is this the black guy that robbed you? I'm like, no, it wasn't that black guy. And then, like, they pulled, like, five, and then they pulled the sixth one. They're like, are you sure it wasn't this one? Dude, this said, one's a problem. And you like, said, they said no, and then they arrested you for selling weed. <laughs> no, no. They like, said, you they ain't going to cooperate, Greg. We don't like, have to arrest Greg, you. They can't see we you. trying to get somebody else. Goes, are you sure they can't see me? They're like, they can't see you. And he just goes, like. <laughs> 
can't see me. You're right. You're right. They can't, uh, they can't, they can't see, see me. me. I'm just flipping them off. No, so then they brought me like 10 random black guys, and I told. Just flipping them off in the room. <laughs> you sure? You sure they can't see me? I'll throw up gang signs. Yeah. See that, that, so then they brought me 10 black guys. Yeah, they brought me 10. He just like, says the N word. They're like, whoa, they can hear you. This, dude. Is, some, this is some women's dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to say, dude. This is like. A lot of white girls' dreams. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm living the fantasy right now. So, dude, if you had tits and a, <laughs> so, so I'm being I'm brought these black again. guys on a platter, pretty much, and just <laughs> on a platter. <laughs> Literally, they had them all. They had them all rounded up and just kept bringing Plata, them up. They're like, they're like, they're like, is this they the call black that man? They call it a caniac combo. This is like the jo- This is like this sounds like Jordan Peterson's new movie, dude. Yeah. No, nope. this has to be cut. <laughs> anyway, I oh, say, I combo, say no. Cut it. And the cops just brought me back to the house. They're like, it really wasn't any of them. I'm like, no, nah, I would have like told you it was them. They're like, all right, whatever. And they just left. They were like, all They're right, like, well. like, shit, man. We were trying to get like, this right, guy for a long That's fine. We clock out in 30 minutes. Good day, right? Yeah, yep. they just left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. We got to crazy. make 10 black guys' lives miserable. We got to hang out with Greg all day. Yeah. Like, we got to- <laughs> and we got to <laughs> steal some free, weed. Dude. Yeah. And, and we got weed. We got to illegally that detain 10 men. That was the second time all the cops pulled into that apartment. The other time- try to turn that Italian lesbian straight. Pretty good day. <laughs> the other time all the cops came to my apartment, a kid OD'd on opiates in my apartment. That's not nice. Fun. That's not fun. All right, never mind. That sucks. <laughs> Moving on. Pretty lit, though. So Here, you, had, you had a fun time, huh? He just sold weed, dude. Oh, people are ODing on fentanyl as an apartment, though. That's crazy. He's got train no, spotting going fentanyl. on in room two. He was on Vicodin and like Oxy or something. Oh, the real fentanyl. And he came. He came. This kid just randomly came to my house, and I didn't know he was on like opiates. And he just like, he just literally was like, "Hey, hey I'm Greg. gonna die here. It's your problem now." Yeah, no, that's literally that's literally what he did. He hit me up. He's like, "Hey, bro, can I come chill?" I'm like, "Yeah, you can come chill." And then he just like comes into my house, and I'm like. Are you good, dude? He's like, uh, and he just fucking passes out on the floor. He Hell starts yeah. ODing and making it my problem. He OD'd. <laughs> what? Greg, hey, dude, you... come on, man. I don't want this to be my problem. Get the fuck out right now. Have you ever thought about just, like, not opening the door every time someone is there? <laughs> Greg, you're like, very... shit, dude. I thought Greg was a very, like, pro- he doesn't like to, like, hang out with people a lot, and then he opens the door to any random person. I'm going to come over one day. I'm going to knock on Greg's bedroom door. I'm going to tie him up, and I'm going to cut his plants up in front of him. <laughs> That's messed up, dude. Why That's where you... my brain went. Looks like Wet's got to find a new studio, dude. Because <laughs> you're scaring his small plant. What I don't yeah, get, dude, right in front what of What I don't get on that last one, when the other two guys were there, why didn't you go like, hey, who the fuck are these guys? Like every drug dealer ever. No, because all right, Greg so, is chill, dog. I didn't know. So <laughs> I, he is so I chill. He's just like, no, I give them weed and they the give role, me money. So the it's very simple. I guys. only sold to college kids, recommended by like other kids, like I sold to. Yeah. So, so this dumb guy, kids is your recommendation. This guy was recommended by my friend, and then I hit my friend up after. I was like, hey, th- you told you sent me this guy to sell weed to, and he robbed me. And he was like, oh fuck, my bad, dude. I actually didn't know that guy. And I'm like, well, why did you tell me he was cool? He's like. He wanted to buy weed from you. I figured you could use the money. I'm like, well, that's why I have rules. Now I can really use the money. Yeah. Well, yeah, no. dude. I'm What's crazy a, is they, the only got, they got a quarter ounce of weed from me, and I had like 20 in cash. So they committed two felonies for essentially like $70. <laughs> no, you, really? you said, like you said, you said it was it. dirt weed. It was like $32. Yeah, so essentially, like, they committed two felonies for $50. And they got away with it, though. Yeah, and the sucky they thing. They did get away with it. Yeah. And actually, the kid who sent me that kid, he was also selling weed. They robbed him a week later. So I was like, all right, you know, fair. <laughs> Karma! <laughs> all right, end the podcast. Yeah, that guy's weed sucked. We well, need to rob some Well, on that note, thank you for listening to Greg's horrific stories of being robbed. <laughs> they were great. <laughs> but <laughs> seriously, Greg, what else do, you, what do you got? I'm going to take these from Make me. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. On it really Spotify. helps us. Yeah, it's a great podcast. Check us out on YouTube and Spotify. Hey, Greg at... Where are you at, Greg? Greg DePaul at gregdepaul.com. Yep. Greg, what shows you got coming up? Staff show Staff tomorrow. Show tomorrow. <laughs> Check them out at Sunset Strip Comedy Club in Austin, Texas. Yeah, we're all on it except for Justin. Have so a check it out. Because I don't work there. Have a good Monday. Have a good Monday. Have a good Tuesday. Have a good Monday. Have a good Monday. We'll see you next week. Wednesday, too. Yeah. If you're chilling on Wednesday.